fishing partner in and build. All right. We bring in great All right, guys. For some reason, we we're having some issues with the audio. You should be able to hear us right now. For some reason, there's another booth nearby. I'm not going to mention their name. That's talking really loud. So I think that's having issues with our equipment. But we're here with the nicest person that we've met so far, Bethany at CS 2024. And Bethany has probably the most impressive television that we've seen at CES this year. That's very true. It is. Why don't you tell us about this thing? This thing is amazing. Yes, this is our 110 inch mini LED TV. It's our, it is, sorry about that. Um, I wanted to get it. I wanted to get the exact. It's our the best mini LED TV. Yeah, the best one. <laughs> the best one. It's our ULED X. But you know what? It is the best one because it's already won seven awards already. It sure has. We've been we received four yesterday, three today, and hopefully more coming. And let's talk to the reason, right? I mean, hey, I mean, at the rate you're going, you're going to end up with like this whole platform full of awards. I would love that. Um, so for, for this TV, I think the reason we won this award has to be for the 10,000 nits that is incorporated in this television. And, and that is impressive. For those that don't know, that's full HDR. And up until now, we didn't even know if that was possible to get on a display. And now this is the first one that can do 10,000 nits, but it's even more impressive being a micro LED because we can see all the black and gray shades we're getting the uh, shadow detail that you wouldn't expect, and we're getting the contrast that is just out of this world. But besides that, this has quite an amazing local dimming zones, yes, correct? over 40,000 local dimming points, and they're drilled down to the individual LED. In the individual yes. LED? Yes. 40,000 local dimming zones into the individual LED. That is incredible, and you can see it in the picture. Now, you told me yesterday that the two on the outside are 4K televisions, and the two on the inside are 8K. And this is, by the way, you guys might not be able to understand the size of this. This is a 110 inch screen. This isn't your mother's 65 inch television. This is a full projector size television in your living room. And this I found to be interesting because I thought this was on a stand, but this is not on a stand, is it? No, that is a supplementer. So it has 4.2.2 channel audio. And on this particular, so there's two, there's one with the, the subwoofer, and then we have the standalone one where you can put your own equipment with it. Um, so we don't know which one will be available and where, or the price yet. And, and it doesn't really matter because the televisions look amazing. And if you're into your own sound system, you're gonna be getting your own sound system anyway. But the fact that television manufacturers are listening to us and realizing that we don't care just about video quality, it's like we want the peanut butter and the jelly, right? That's exactly why Hisense made this product too. It's for the consumer. We wanted to bring a better experience. You know, we had our 100 inch. We wanted to bring that better experience, richer colors, contrasts and tones, and this TV more than delivers that. And what I found to be most impressive, we talked about a lot Whenever you see like new technology like this, you expect exorbitant prices. Now we don't know the price point of them, so we can't say what they are. But one thing that we've learned about Hisense throughout its lifespan is that they have been probably the best performance to price on the market. And I think this is going to be another one of these. Absolutely. You know, for, for what you're getting, we will be affordably priced for what the item is. Like when you put it all together, you would think you pay so much more for our products than they are. That's what that's what we're known for is our is our price point exactly. Now you know this already. My cameraman is actually my wife. I love her. Sarah. She is amazing. She is. She is. See, look at that. She even gets live props on air. We should actually like show her, but she doesn't know this yet. But I'm gonna have to end up buying one of these for our living room. Oh, the camera didn't drop. Good. Okay. <laughs> there is one thing I wanted to mention because I think. I think it's important for gaming for gaming on this TV. It has 144 native or hertz. I'm sorry, 144 hertz native refresh rate. 144 hertz native refresh rate. That's unbelievable, especially for this size screen. And what I love is we can look in here, and I love that you guys changed the image because yesterday it was different images. With this day or today, they actually put all the blacks on here. I haven't seen deep dark blacks on a micro LED like this before. Usually you think it needs to be an OLED to get stuff like this. And this is what is really impressing me is that we're seeing this type of picture quality 
out of this technology. I, I'm really impressed with this. Yes, that's the, the comments yesterday were this looks like a still image from a photo, you know, on here. You can't see any pixels. Um, and then the reduction, you know, for being in this huge place with the lights, you actually can see the picture very well. Like, there's not a lot of glare on this TV at all. No, it's this. not. Oh, go ahead. No, no, that's all. No. no, you're right. I mean, if, if we were to look around, I don't want you to scan, but if we were to look around, you guys have seen this. There's lights everywhere. This is just a big building, right? I mean, it's a big conference center style building. It's big, like a big warehouse. So it's nothing special as far as lighting goes. In fact, it's probably one of the worst environments you could possibly put a television in, but it still looks fantastic. Thank you. Thank you, Bethany. Oh, you are so welcome. It's a pleasure. My favorite people I've met at CES, they're amazing. I've met some amazing people, I should say. So yeah. this is my favorite couple I've met at CES. We like that. <laughs> we'll say Mary. No, 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 no. Keep, keep going Personal on, because we're going to go check out some other stuff from my sense, but we're going to leave Bethany to stay here. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Bethany. We appreciate it. All right, guys. Hey, let's go ahead and check out some more stuff at CES over here. Let's go check it out. I hope we didn't get her in trouble. Oh. Okay, guys. Hey, guys, I know it's hard to hear. What was going on? And I'll try to, we're going to do a review of this afterwards. There's some things that are going on. Unfortunately, there's a booth right next to us. They're yelling and screaming. I'll get some great pictures. I'll get some great videos and some pictures of this, and we'll do a follow-up video after CES as well. But I want to show you some more stuff that Hisense is doing because they've got the world's first 8K uh, ultra short throw projector. And that's this right here. So if we'll take a look over right here to the right. We're going to see that this is the world's first that I know of, 8K sonic screen laser TV in the world. And this is unbelievable. Now, you're not going to get the full picture quality. You're going to see a lot of red in the picture. That's not actually there in person. This is there because of uh, the way that triple laser televisions, unfortunately, are captured on the screen when we're recording. And so I apologize for that. But let's go and take a look. They have another laser TV over here that I really like. This, I think, is actually a package deal, but this is an 88-inch laser television, and it's the world's smallest that I know of, triple laser compact television. Now, you can see it's an 88-inch screen. It's amazing. Why don't you go, try to go around the front if you can, just get up high. But this thing, as you can tell, this is a, a completely light-controlled room, which is nice. But the projector itself is this really small projector right here. It's about the size of a 14-inch laptop. It's really, really small, but the picture quality on this looks just like a television. Now, this is only an 88-inch screen, so I'm not sure if this is going to come just as an 88-inch screen. That's what I kind of got the idea of. But what I really liked was the thin bezel. If we take a look, that bezel is really, really thin. It hangs right on the wall. And, guys, if you guys have questions about, make sure you put them in the comment section. I know it's kind of hard to hear so we'll do some more recording, and like I said, we'll take some more. Now, these are uh, a new screen by Hisense that's an ultra-contrast screen, which is another really cool screen that they have coming out. We talked about it. It actually has a new technology on it. It's, it's a Fresnel screen, but it has a black backing on it of some kinds that's supposed to actually give it more contrast. Uh, like I said, I talked a little bit to a gentleman that showed it yesterday, but unfortunately... I didn't get a lot of information on it. There was a little bit of a language. Now, you should be able to hear me much better here. But these are their uh, lifestyle projectors. This is the C1 lifestyle projector. And you can see that this has been going over quite a bit. A lot of people have really loved uh, the C1 projector. And I wanted to get this so that you could get an idea of the picture quality on here. I'm really loving these, uh, these lifestyle projectors. We got some... More lifestyle projectors we're going to take a look at later. But uh, I really do like this. But Hisense has really, really impressed me with the things that they have. I'm going to go ahead and take some other video by itself. And like I said, we get back from CES 2024. I'll do some uh, other stuff to be able I'll, I'll do some editing on the videos so that you can go ahead and uh, experience this more uh, like we experience it. All right, guys. It's Toy's DIY Audio. We'll see you later.